Hello everyone, my name is Lady MG, and we are back for another uh, episode with Alan Wake Remastered. I had to do a restart on this checkpoint due to the fact that um, something happened. And we glitched something out. I'm not exactly sure what we glitched out, but we're trying to get to Barry. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think we made it mad. Come on. Whoop. One more. You got this, you big ball. You come on down here. Okay, let it roll past. Yeah, we glitched something. Okay. Okay. All right, we're gonna stop here and read this manuscript because you know we didn't get to read it last. No creator. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Hmm. Okay. Is there anything else? Hey, come on! We gotta get going! Uh, yeah, I've gotta check everything out before I go, goofball. Oh, it's still raging in there. Ow, I'm over here! I know! Barry? Let me pick up my coffee mug. You're gonna want some coffee on the way, don't ya? I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Oh! Mary, I don't have a light. Give me that. Give Take me the this, flashlight. Al. Thank you. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look at I would love to get out of here, but uh, just hitting the stupid jump button again. Okay, the house is trying to eat me. Okay, where's the hedge maze? Oh, here. Okay. Um. Not this way. I think this is going to be bad. Al, hurry up! I can hear those evil guys moving around. Well, I'm glad you can hear them because I can't. This is the way. No, it is not. This maze is not properly cared for. Look at all of these weeds and whatnot. I think we made it to the center. Well, yeah, they're coming for me. They just don't happen to like me. I don't know why they don't like me. I'm kind of a nice guy. Uh, 
I'm just going this way. It might be a dead end. Pick up manuscript. Ah, it was a dead end, but I picked up another piece of my manuscript. But we can't, you know, read it right now because we're kind of running for our lives. And I'm, like, terrified. Thank you for the revolver ammo. You did well. Oh, we're still not through the stupid maze. You get two bells in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold. Oh. Is that the doctor? And he's got an axe. I don't care about those guys. You guys done? Okay, I hit you guys, but no. Okay, give me some more. Reload, shall we? Whew. Stupid crows. I'm sure they're cool in real life when they're not attacking you. Recharge, 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 recharge. Who knew this was going to be such a nightmare? Um, I like my old shotgun better. But we're collecting our stuff again, so I can't complain. I just wish we had some more flares. And I think we We almost died there. Okay. Oh, well, hello. Where did you come from? Flare, 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 flare. Okay, let's get over here to the light. Heal herself. I want our strong flashlight back. I want a 
a nine mil instead of this revolver. I don't know who I whose idea it was to get us a revolver. Saved by the little smidge we had left. Okay, which way is... Is it this way? It's gotta be back here somewhere. There we go. Oh, somebody's taking care of us. Somebody loves us. Let's reload. We've got two. Let's go back to this. I can't believe that guy tried to lie to us and tell us that we are wiped was dead when apparently she really we don't know where she's at we have no idea where she's at people are lying to us okay he's down there Let's go up here and check for, at the end, we will do all of the book pages. Well, we can stop and do them here. How many do we have? Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin, if only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. So... Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. So, he's been brought there for a reason. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Oh yeah, from coming from those guys. Hartman wasn't happy. Mod could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. So, they're the ones that was behind saying that his wife had been taken. But they don't have her. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Well, apparently, the brothers were on Wake's side, so good for us. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction, 
Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. So, Hartman has done this before. Well, shame on you, Hartman. I'm glad you're no longer able to control people the way you were. You, you're not a very good doctor or therapist. Shame on you. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Who's this dude and why are you walking in up on me like that? Okay. Hurry you guys up, asked for it. Come on, come on in. Where's this big dude? Enough? You guys had enough? I think we're trapped. Yeah. Again. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, that hurt. Oh, there's two big dudes. Okay, whenever I'm like that, I can't get away. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Gotta get down here where I can. Louise. Okay. We're going to try this again. This is going to be a little bit longer episode and I apologize because I'm terrible. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Well,
Where's this other dude? Shoot, 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 shoot. No, there's no way that I didn't get around that before he smacked me with that. And where these big dudes keep coming from, I have no idea. I kill one. Is that the sheriff? Oh! Okay. Finally! Okay. Whew. I'm exhausted! Why does he have that in the back of the car? You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> like you know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. <laughs> He's going to live in a tanning booth. Wow. Okay. At least you got goals in life, Barry. That's more than I can say for us right now, because we're just trying to, you know, figure out what's, what's going crazy, on. But that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow! How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Ow! I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just oh. need to find oh. it. Bye! God, I hope Barry's okay. Ow. He is. God damn it, I'll talk to me. And we're alive too. All right. I lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. 
Okay. He's lost his gun. He's lost both his guns and his flashlight? And now we have to find Barry again? Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout oh. is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? You're cut out? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! I think we've been Help! here before. There's something moving down here. I have no gun. Barry, it's a take it. Use a flare, Barry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barry, are you all right? It's the exact same way I felt when I figured it out. I'm, good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? <laughs> You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Okay. Barry, just wait for me, okay? I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Yeah, but we we need a flashlight. We need a gun. We need some flares. We lost everything. I don't see how we would lose everything when we had it all in our pockets. Hey, well, we're going this way. Just because you... Oh, that was a cheap shot. Oh, that was another cheap shot. Oh, we're going to die. Okay, light's supposed to help us. Okay, I have a feeling we left some stuff back there, but with the stuff flying at us. Oh, we have to go back that way. We're just going to sit here and get our health up for about, you know, 10 seconds. Oh, and we can do that while Walter at the Anderson Farm. When he farm. stopped the car at the Anderson Farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Um, that doesn't sound good. Not good at all. Ah, cheap shot. Oh, I think we're going to die here. Miss me. But you might get me in the end. We're just going to stand up over to this side. Yeah. It really doesn't want us to get down to this farm, but I don't... Did we just... We just came this way. Well, crap. I screwed up. I'm not exactly sure where we're going. Up here.
Oh, we might get hit. We're out of stamina. You big jerk. Light. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Um, is it up? It might be up. Oh, <gasps> lucky another shiny. Oh. Are you kidding? I fell through the hole and didn't take damage. script up anything up here for us to okay can we go around here is there anything over here that we can get please say there's a special no special chest well okay let's read agent nightingale stared at the past outrider the man was sleeping off one hell of a night nightingale felt a stab of envy at wake's oblivion but he had a job to do he put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Okay, that makes no sense. Why is he trying to mark him? What did he, what did he do? What, what did he do? He's not really writing this. He's just finding all of this. He's just as confused as the rest of us are. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. No flares. I'll take the shovel. This is the point of no return. Well, this is not good for me. Ah. guys come back down here Ooh. oh no 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 okay I'm not sure where to go without this light because really the only thing that's saving me. Oh, we're stuck on a tree. No! Oh, 
No, 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 no. Oh. I don't know where we're going to spawn back at. One way or another, we have to get that generator up and going. So we, we at least have... I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Something. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. And we have zero... Trust no one in the dark. You guys might as well kill me. Pick up batteries, pick up batteries, pick up batteries. Gotta learn how to outmaneuver them. Not like that. We gotta get our stamina and stuff back. This is a shit. Okay, just kill me. Hurry up. How the hell are they such dead hitters? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, and this one's starting to piss me off. Off, you big jerks. Okay, we're here. Yeah, that was miserable. This one's going to be a terrible episode. A terrible episode. Okay, 
I'm going to call this one here because it's it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. But it's okay. <laughs> We're allowed to have bad because bad makes us better. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I died a lot. Got frustrated. Was about ready to pull my hair out, but I didn't. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell notification for future videos. And I will see you in the next one.